All right, guys, we're going to talk real briefly about our latest purchase for the truck. And I haven't went over the new truck a whole lot, new to me anyhow. We're going to be using some AN fittings because we're going to install some additions to our performance fuel system that we're working on, lift pump assembly. This is going to be a suction hose. <clears throat> and this is an AN line. It's an old school AN line. Instead of having the nylon over it, it has the stainless. It has a, was a CPE or something liner in it. Notice how they've wrapped something black around it and then cut it really square, like with a friction device. You want to cut that with a cutoff wheel or a, a chop saw and wrap it in black tape. This is the adapter. It's an NPT to an AN fitting. NPT seals on that first where I just showed you with my hand uh, along the threads kind of as a wedge and then the AN seals on the taper on the end and you can see the receiving taper there, the female side of it where that will go together. Keep in mind they use special aluminum wrenches for these in most professional applications that will not mar the adenizing. They have that fancy little deal there. There's going to be two hoses that run. One for a suction, one for a return. I'm going to very carefully take an extremely long period of time unscrewing this with my left hand only. This is, of course, a 45 degree piece. Yep, there you go. Now this is something that you're going to want to use like WD-40 or something when you're putting all this together. And you're going to want to be very careful, as you saw in that first frame of this, those little spikes. They tell you to wear gloves with this. They are not joking. You really should wear gloves with this. Those little pieces of stainless hurt. They get in your hands. They make you bleed. They're like little needles. So this collar is going to screw down onto the piece that you just cut. Again, lubrication, lubrication going to go on the outside of your piece. You're going to hold that and then see how there's a taper that's going to go inside the hose. The reason these are cool is that taper on the other part, the one I'm not holding, that one right there, is so long and, and it has just a great amount of contact area and as you screw that together with that collar I just had, it produces a really, really great seal. You don't have to worry about them leaking. They stay together a long time. These are more or less professional grade. Of course, I didn't buy the most expensive one. But anyhow, that's some basics on AN line. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Have a good one.